So we're still doing good. And oil pressure's a little low. What do we get? 14 volts. All right, so the idle pulley, its bearing is going. Uh, it's actually squealing really badly when we start up the engine. So we're gonna replace that idler pulley with a new one. First thing we gotta do is get that fan belt out of the way. And what you wanna do is make sure that your wrench has enough room to come back off of the idler pulley uh, when you go to release the tension. So you want the wrench to be about there because you'll see why in a second. Basically what happens is when you pull the belt off, the idler pulley comes back an extended amount and if you can't get the wrench out of the way, you're really kind of stuck. So now that's out of the way, everything's good there. We're just gonna move the belt off to the side like so. And we're gonna get this nut down here that attaches it to the block. Ooh, we may have a tight fit. And since this car has been known to throw me a metric every now and then, I go ahead and grab my metric wrench set. And that's exactly what it is. 15 millimeter. And we wanna go this way with it towards the passenger wheel. Out. So now we need to get that off and put the new one on. Right. It's a new piece. We need to get that out right there. Take this nut off here. Is a 13 millimeter. Don't want to lose that. Okay. Now, put it back in. Just like that. So, to get it back in there, pull that out. Make sure it's on this side of the belt. Put the nut, the bolt back in. Make sure that this is over there. And that. Oh, come on. Don't fuck with me. Like so. And then start turning the nut in. Or the bolt in, should I say. That's tight. Let's get these out of the way. Ugh. And get the belt back on. Again, no squeaking.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, smash that like button. It really does go a long way. And if you stay tuned, you're going to see some extra video footage. Till the end. Thank you. Have a great day. Hello YouTube. So today uh, we had to change out the <coughs> idler pulley wheel. So today we had so today we had to change out the uh, tensioner pulley wheel. <laughs> and it was a motherfucker. So today we changed out the. So today we changed out the. Um, so today we. So today we changed out the tensioner pulley wheel. Uh, it was squeaking. Uh, I believe it was the actual original pulley pulley idler wheel. Uh, I believe it was the original idler wheel that came with the engine when it rolled off the uh, assembly line. Um, and it was an absolute pain because of the tightness of the area between the AC uh, compressor tank uh, and uh, the radiator and everything else that's in that area. And the bolt being like that long and it really only needs to be that long don't know why. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's all working. Took it for a test drive. Everything's fantastic. So uh, we're done. Um, coming up, I'm selling the Red Vet. There you go.